Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. Uh, this is going to be episode 12 of the building of the trimaran, uh, the Trisp 10. And uh, in this episode we're going to finish off most of the stuff on the inside of the boat. I will be fitting the dagger board case, I will be gluing it all in and fitting it all together. And then I'm going to uh, install the buoyancy tanks on the back of the boat, on the starboard and the port side. Then I'm going to put in the bracket to hold the solar and battery powered uh, outboard motor for backup. Uh, so uh, I leave you with the video and uh, if you like the video please uh, consider subscribing. Okay, uh, before I gave it the last coat of, of, uh, of epoxy, I, g I gave them three coats of epoxy. Uh, th this is still, it's not tacky, it's just, uh, just, after, just after drying. Uh, before I done that I screwed these pieces all up into place. I'm not going to screw it to the bottom of the boat. I'm not going to screw the dwarf. And for now, anyway, I don't think so. I don't think there's any need. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to fix these into the positions that they were in. I'm going to, I have mixed up epoxy here. And I'm going to put the epoxy all along here and up the sides as well. So uh, that's the first job I'm going to do is put it on two corners of these and they will fit they will find the hole that i had in them already and they will line themselves up at 20 millimeters uh, just over 20 millimeters i'm not putting that in so i'll just start putting this this is mixed with candesol as well of course make it nice and thick uh, so i'll put a nice liberal coat on it remember this is going to be see i am going to put i don't know i'm going to make up something to be able to put uh, uh, to make a fillet inside this because the shape of the the aerofoil of the dagger board will allow for that for a nice fillet and I mark port and, and starboard on these so they will line up with exact holes so uh, I'm going to put it down gently here and it will find its own hole. Don't necessarily have to tighten them all up yet. Rex, can you start to put the paste on the other one there? Starboard, so starboard there and there. Oh, the glue even squeezed out there. Now we're going to go around, and I'm going to do this one. I'm going to put this glue on the bottom of the on the of the in, on the bottom of the inside. I'm be pushing this in, and I'll put the glue here as well. And get, I'll take the screw into it. I just kind of push it down. And we know we're going into our holes then. That one was a little bit sticking up there, that's fine. Now the glue is oozing out here on the bottom. Ready for me on the line where we we done this earlier without the glue. And he's going to push it down then. You ready? Ready. Now the one on the top. Is it a line on the line? Mm. Yeah? Mm. Now we can start messing, we can start playing around with it now. Uh, we'll get our lollipop sticks there slightly over 20 this one the other one is slightly under it that's why i'm using this one so i'm going to use spoon like this i'm going to just around this part uh, i used one of uh i used a wooden sp these little small wooden uh spoons and i've made a, a fillet all along here uh when i have bits left over i'll put them in i'm not I'm going to mix it up specially for it and uh so now i'm going to i'm just going to get on my uh 
make sure we have everything right here for the inside of the dagger board before we do anything else. Uh, it's been a few days since I was d uh, done some recording. What we done in between time was down here we put, uh, as I said, we put in one layer of fiberglass, uh, six ounce, 200 gram. It says one layer because if somebody's rowing here to make this a little bit stronger. We filled in all this. All the boat has got two coats. Uh, our, our dagger board case is uh, f uh, finished. Uh, a little bit of work to do on the very bottom when we turn it over. We have smoothed this nice. This needs to be sanded just once more. Uh, so our next job uh, we're going to do is we're going to put in the buoyancy tanks in the back. Now the buoyancy tanks are only from here to here in the sailing version. But because of the shape of the boat, you have to work it out yourself. So if you're going to work something out, uh, the detail is not really done on, in the drawing. It, we, so everyone will have their own way of doing it. So the buoyancy tank is coming down around 500 millimeters, right, along here. Uh, but I want to apply what, I want this, this line here, because of the shape, this is shaped like this. I want this shape, this pointy part here of the inner gunwale, I want that level with the plywood. Right, so I don't want, I want this line continuing. So I want the plywood coming in like, like this, okay? And then I will slope off the plywood. The buoyancy tank is about that size. Okay? Maybe this is part of a buoyancy tank. Yes, this piece was cut for it. I'm not sure if it's the right size or not. We might, I have extra plywood anyway. Uh, so I want this lying on top of this. So that means I'm going to cut this down this part from here to wherever I'm going, I'm going to cut it down one, uh, five millimeters because this is five millimeter plywood and we're going to let it rest on top of this part. And because this gets wider, I am going to then going to uh, put in a, a doubler here. That's a, doubler means an extra piece. I'm going to put in a doubler here and I'm going to run my piece out here. I am going to take all the measurements from the center. You take all the measurements from the center, we will, we will clamp a piece of wood across here, we will mark the center of it, and then we will take our measurements from here to here, and then from the center of this, we'll take it from here to here. If you take everything from the center, in most, most projects, if you work from the center, you won't go so wrong. So uh, I will go and start cutting up a few pieces of wood. I'm going to chop this down. Uh, I'm going to measure down where I'm going to go. I'm going to take this down one quarter, probably just with a chisel, and uh, I will, I, um, I might do the planer on it. Okay, so uh, after that we glued all this up. I'll just explain to you what I've done to get level. What I've done was, after I planed this up down to where we, where we discussed, uh, I put the boat in a position that this was level, okay? So I used a level bar. So I am using this level. Uh, the back of the transom was a little bit off from the very, very beginning. It's about off by about four millimeters. So we are not going to leave it off, we are going to build it up a little bit. So this piece here is going to be, so we have run a, a line from there to there, and that's going to be leveled. So the, the, the seats are going to be level based on the transom being uh, this uh, being level. And so we take everything off that, everything is taken square off that then. So this one here is, this one is plumb. Plum as in the opposite to level, right? 90 degrees to level. This one is 90 degrees to level. We, we, we level the boat this way as well, so that all these, these ones are square. So the plywood will sit on top of this. We have to build up a little bit of four millimeter there and three millimeter there. We made maybe a little mistake or maybe not, but it's not a big deal. I put this piece in here temporary to hold these in place. I didn't put the one going across yesterday because it was just going to be too messy, I thought. 
So what I'm going to, I put weights down and everything is glued down. So I'm just going to take everything apart now. We will put this back on again, I think, when I'm gluing this piece. This piece going across is to stop this. But all the pieces that are holding the weight, which is this one here, this corner, this corner, and, and the gunwale, are already uh, okay. They're fine. So I'll just take off everything and see how we go. We clamp these to this. It was a little bit awkward. But uh, it worked out okay. It, it was fine. And uh, we'll just see how it worked out now. I'll take the screw out of this. I will put them back in again. I was afraid if I had so much glue that the glue might stick to this one, I might be able to get it off later on. So. So we'll just see what it looks like. Uh, I think it's going to look nice because this is going to be level with this. I think anyway. We will. We have a line here and a line there to make sure that this goes this way. Uh, I have to cut this in. It's a slight little notch on it. Uh, the most of the weight will be down here, so we'll just take this off to see how it how it looks. Hopefully, I didn't get any glue on it. No. So. So this, these are our two, uh, our two uh, bulkheads at the back, or our tank bulkheads at the back. And a bit of glue sticking out there, but they're level. At, at, at the moment they're level, but when I put this piece in, I have to put a piece of glue here and a bit of glue there. I'm not putting any uh, screws or anything in these, because the weight is all going down on the, the, the inside of the hull. So the weight is going on the gunwale on this side, so there's nothing... There's nothing the plywood is going on the side of this, and the plywood is going that way, and there'll be a piece going across. It's just basically to hold the two pieces of plywood together. So there, there, there's, no structural, uh, there's no structural problem there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out these little pieces here and put the one down along the side of the, the inside of the hull, along here, and uh, maybe a short little piece here. This has to be sealed because it's been sealed because if the boat turns over or something like that, it's, it's a buoyancy tank, so it has to be sealed. I may put in little inspection panels on the side of it. It's too small to store anything, but uh, I might do the same on the other end of it, just for inspection. I've done the, the boxes, okay, now. They're all glued together. There is no screws in them. They are all epoxy. Now, I've already made the tops as well. Uh, I need to get two coats on the inside of all of these before we, uh, before we close them off. I will put a round access hole in these, just for access, it's very little storage is going to be in these. I've made these up. Uh, the way this is running, these, I have one coat here and I have one coat on everything, this is already two coats. So before we put this in, two coats on everything, we'll sandwich this down then. Uh, it's going level, this is going level with this, and then this is going to be sloped off. So this line should continue along there. That's the idea. It'll probably, because it's plywood, it will take a little bit, uh, a little bit more encouragement from the, from the, well, a little bit more epoxy or something like that to make it nice and smooth along there. But that's what I like to have, and this one is for here as well. So we will fit them later today. There's not a big deal in fitting them. We just glue them down, put a couple of weights on top of them, and then now down here because here because this is a sailing boat it's a big big uh, rudder right the rudder is I'm not sure exact length but it's not like your standard little rudder in your small boat it's a sailing boat needs a big rudder just like it has a dagger board so we need more support here this one will be going here like this this piece here for the rudder there will also be another angle piece here as well that what we would call I think it's 150 millimeter fillet uh, going across like this. It'd be a buttress kind of and So down on the back here then as well, I have uh, made up the box. Now because this has got a big rudder here, this has to go to one side. So this is, uh, this is for my outboard. My outboard is going to be a solar electric. Did I tell you that before? No? Well, I'm telling you now. Uh, we're going to put a, uh, a solar powered, uh, with, with a battery as well, of course. This is cut, put in some, something like this, okay? And this one will be, I'm not sure if I'm going to bolt it in or screw it in or, or what I'm going to put in. I'm going to tidy them all up first. So I'm going to tidy that up as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to round off the corner of this as well to make it nice. I don't like sharp edges. 
Also, uh, I'm going to put in uh, the two supports for uh, either side of the dagger board before we put the top on it. Uh, it's just, a, I make it from th three quarter inch plywood. I'm going to round that off as well, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to round off everything at the same time, because I put it in my router table. It's not really a router table, it's one I made up myself several years ago. So we'll round off this, because this has been fibre glass, so we don't want a sharp edge on it anyway. So I'm going to round off the, the two, two, two corners and the top of it. Uh, I'm not that bothered about covering this in yet, right? I'll cover this in when the time comes. You wear a mask normally when you're doing a bit of wrapping, but it's only a tiny little bit, and I want to keep talking to you there, so I'm not going to. But uh, you wear eye protection. You, if you have a mask, it's probably better. You can breathe better with one of these. Uh, these uh, I'll, I'll send you a link to these. these I use this when I'm uh, turning, when I'm using the turning machine, because uh, if a piece of wood hits. Uh, I've had a chip come off, uh, off a router bit. I had a piece come off it, right? and. It, 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 one of the sharp parts of, of it came flying across and, and after that I always make sure and it was actually a really high quality one, it wasn't, it was a high quality, it was a white side one and uh, it just came off and when I was doing it on, on, a, on a big, big bit, okay. So they turned out nice. I rounded this a little bit because the bracket actually goes down a little bit here. Uh, this goes on the inside of the boat. I'm not sure whether I'm going to round it now or not uh, at the moment, but uh, uh, I might give it just taper it a little bit. It's definitely not going to round it down here, but the bit that sticks up over the boat on the inside. So uh, that's all my pieces done now, and I'm just going to make up some glue and I'm going to glue them all in. Okay, so that was the end of part 12. Uh, We've got nearly all the inside of the boat done now. What we haven't got, the only part we haven't got done is for, the, for holding this, the, the mast. Uh, I want to leave that till I'm sure what size the mast and what size kind of sail I'm putting on the boat. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to finish the outside of the boat. I'm going to uh, paint it. Uh, and uh, I'm going to finish up a few small little bits. I'm going to do the decking on the front. If you like this video, please uh, consider subscribing up here. And uh, I'll see you next week where we'll be painting the boat.